go. It's been a while. It's been storming probably like four days in a row, y'all. And I can't go live in a storm. I don't know how my internet is anyway. So it's been crazy. Crazy, crazy. So come in and say hey. And let me know you're here. I will get y'all pulled up so I can see your comments. Y'all look kind of crooked. Why y'all crooked? <laughs> I'll get it fixed eventually. Alright. I gotcha. Hello, hello, y'all. Of course, my laptop's updating. Go figure. Go figure, go figure. So we got just a minute or so. Hello. What's up, y'all? It's been a busy day. It has, it has. Hello. What y'all up to? What y'all been doing? Fill me in on the gossip. We got about 30 seconds. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm back. All these storms are slowing me down. Y'all know my Wi-Fi's wonky and then we got storms coming through. Try to go live, it ain't gonna happen, y'all. <laughs> Country girl. Oh, awesome. Thank you. All right. So it's seven. So, um, y'all know I've been working with Taylor on some sunnas. Um, so the glittered sunnas are available. Is this not adorable? So pretty. Rose gold, of course. Um, so these all get painted, sealed, glittered, sealed again, and she's even putting the pipe cleaner on the back with a floral pen. So you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Um, so they are $6 a piece. Um, they are on my website. So y'all go check them out. Um, you had to work. What? Same old, same old, another sunflower finished. Well, that's good. <laughs> What's cracking, Rose Heart? Rose, send, shoot me a message. I forgot. Shoot me a message. So we're going to do this on the large board. Um, so if you need your boards, there is a pinned post at the top of my page. Click on that link. It'll take you directly to Unique in the Creek. When you get to the discount code, put CREATE, all capital, C-R-E-A-T-E, and you'll save 10%. They also have the new bundle pack, y'all. So definitely go check that out. What's up, mama? Come do your crafter, mine ain't cheap. <laughs> so you can be able to see it on the back. I have already loaded my board. Um, so we're doing all of row two, three, four, and then five. We're doing every set. So going in between as well. Um, I know, they're so pretty. She did a good job. So, I will bring y'all down, and we will get started. Hopefully, I'll bring you down. Okay, I did it. Let me straighten you back up. <laughs> good evening, y'all. There's my stalker. Yes, it is monkeyscreations.com. Um, that's where you can get all the... The sennas, the, the yarn balls, the suckas, my wreaths, whatever you need, whatever I have available is on my website. I know it's hot here in Texas too, but at least we have um, the rain, so that's, that's keeping it cooled off. So we are doing the rose gold. Now I couldn't find my regular... Um, Normally, if you've seen me do the rose gold before, um, I typically use this mesh, um, but I didn't have enough available, so we're using this, and it's still going to be just as pretty. It's just got more of the gold in it, um, which is, is going gonna, gonna to be pretty, so I'm excited to do this one. Hey, hey, so if y'all wouldn't mind floating my boat, I would appreciate it. So we're gonna do just the rose gold on row two. Row one is where you would typically typically 
put leaves. Um, oh, I'll show you the, um, before I get started, here's the peacock one. I had several message me um, about the peacock on the website. So it is a mixture of the blues and the greens. So here is the sunflower I did with that senna, okay? Thanks. All right, so we'll get started. So I'm doing the rose gold on row two, four, and I'm gonna do the cream and gold on three and five, okay? Hello, hello. All right, so we're just gonna do the typical sunflower fold. Um, I like to make sure that I keep my, whatever side you wanna start on. So this is the surge. I generally try to keep the surge edge on my left-hand side always. That way I don't go in between flowers and try to figure out which way I'm going. That way it's consistent throughout your flower, okay? So for me, it's the surge edge. For you, it might be the cut edge. But try to get in a habit of maybe doing the same every time. Um, that way they're not um, back and forth, okay? Um, so we're gonna, these are all cut 10 by 10. Um, I did not have a chance to heat seal these, so these are all cut with my rotary cutter, okay? Um, yes, the centers are available on my website. Um, so we're just, they're all cut at 10 by 10. We're gonna scrunch from corner to corner, okay? So tuck your first edge down. Make sure you tuck that last piece down. And then I just use my middle finger to flip it up, just like that. So this is the petal we're gonna use, okay? Hello, hello, y'all. Doesn't matter where you start. So we're just gonna pick a place and go ahead and get started. So what have y'all been doing? I've missed y'all. Do you, you know, y'all, y'all probably, this is how crazy I am. Hello, hello. Like I count. Do any of y'all count? each scrunch as you're scrunching. Is that crazy? That just sounds crazy to me, but I realized the other day I was doing it to make sure I get the same scrunches in each petal. <laughs> so I get six scrunches. <laughs> Well, happy anniversary! Does it seem like just yesterday? <laughs> You've been baby shopping. Yay, you got your top fan back. Yes, Anna. Woohoo! Um, so, if y'all have not heard, Kim is doing the poinsettia balls. And I should have brought that poinsettia in. Um, it was just too much. I was trying to do them with Taylor and it was just too much. So we have passed those off to, um, you make yourself nuts with it. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, so the poinsettia balls that fit perfectly in your poinsettia. Kim is making those at Magical Creations. Okay. So y'all go jump over there not yet wait till you wait till I'm done don't leave me um, y'all go jump over there like and follow her page um, and you can get the poinsettia balls from her okay um, 
and I should remind me toward the end and I'll go grab some so that y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I think she's or she's going to post them tomorrow on her page. She's already been taking orders, um, I've heard, um, but she's going to get some posts going. So y'all go check her out um, at Magical Creations to get your poinsettia balls. And I just like to make sure they're pretty much lined up. You're moving, what? I usually just do a finger width is my general rule. I've done them, I've done so many of them, I can usually just eyeball it. Um, but generally a finger width is, is my, um, is what I do. You're late, you're late, you're late. Yay, you like them, Suzanne? Susan? I don't know why I do that. I do, I'm just like Dre, I do it too. It's kicking you out. Oh, she's got, oh, she's got pink, y'all. Look at her. She got pink going on. Bow stalkers. Yay, Shell, where you been, girl? I've been meaning to message you. She's, she's got pink, blue, green, red, white, silver, gold, and more coming. Are you going to do the um, frosted ones, Kim? Thanks, Charmaine. It's hot here too, girl. Hot here too. To Flower Mound, Texas. Does this turn out to be flat? I, if you can tell when I go, when I put them in, I do bring them up a little bit. That's what I'm doing when I go underneath um, so that it does give it a little, if you can tell um, on this one, it does curve so it's not flat. I don't like mine flat, that's just a personal preference. So that's why I make sure I go up underneath each petal and bring it up. You do seven. <laughs> so if you want them flat, don't go up underneath them. That's just my, just my preference, y'all. You're doing the frosted ones, awesome. So I will show y'all that. Remind me at the end, um, and I'll show you that poinsettia. Um, I did it live the other day, but then I went back and added um, some more petals, and I, I think I told y'all I was gonna anyway. Um, but I'll show you, but y'all gonna have to remind me because I'll forget, okay? Um. Are you talk if you're talking the the large flower centers, um, those are on mine and it's monkeyscreations.com. If you're talking the two inch poinsettia centers, those are um, that's magical creations. Why is shipping twenty two dollars on three? I'm not sure, um, but I've had several people say there's a problem with shipping. So, um, just message me, and I'll do your order from this end. I know, I love, the, and when I did it, I, y'all, y'all know there's always a method to my madness. So, I did that, you know, as a, kind of a, a peacock sunflower, um, so as I'm doing them, I'm, you know, coming up with kits in my head um, that we can do. Yay, Doris! Um, but not anything too thick. Oh, okay. Um, but I do, y'all, y'all know I was trying to put um, the uh, candy corn sunflower wreath together but I could not find enough of the white fabric mesh. Um, so I did find enough of 
the white with a white foil deco mesh. Um, so I am gonna have this the um, candy corn kit available with the yellow Santa. That's why the yellow is not listed because they're all going in my kits. Um, so that is supposed to be here tomorrow, um, but it's gonna be the deco mesh and not the. Um, the uh, fabric mesh that I wanted. But it is still going to be beautiful, y'all. I love you, too. Shoot, now you're counting scrunches. <laughs> Do you have a problem with the impulse sealer? No. Mm -mm. Uh, a lot of times, especially if it's the more heavily fold mesh, you have to do it um, sometimes three or four times. Um, so what you'll do is, can y'all see what I'm doing? I just come up underneath. Sometimes I do it without even thinking. Um, so what you'll do is you'll, you'll put your mesh in. You'll take the bar, bring it down. When the light flicks and it's done, just gently raise it, put it right back down, um, and gently raise it, put it right back down. You might have to do that two or three times. Um, to, um, I'm working on that too, Sheila. <laughs> the centers are six dollars, um, so they're they're painted, dried, mod podged, glittered, and then sealed three times. And then she's even putting the um, the pipe cleaner in the back with the um, floral pen to ensure that it goes nowhere, y'all. So this is fraying a little bit, but I'm not concerned about it um, because I'm just going to clean it up. And then once you start messing with it, the fraying stops. So, and you can see, I mean, if you're not hard and rough with your mesh, um, it's really not going to fray that much if you're gentle with it. Got to be gentle. <laughs> You're welcome. So do I have any new people? Give me a thumbs up if you're new. Never seen me before. You're sending band-aids, I'll let her know. <laughs> I'm glad you liked them. Have you made? No, I have not done the ombre. Mm -mm. Awesome. Well, there's a couple of you. Well, welcome. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creation. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I say some wacky things. I, I talk a little funny. I only have one rule. You can't make fun of the way I talk. That's it. <laughs> What's the difference between curl going up and curl? It really just depends on what petal you're doing. Um, so most most of the petals are going to be curved down. Um, there's a few like the poinsettia I did the other day. It started with a curl up, um, but most of them are going to be curled down. Nope, this is regular light foil deco mesh. Nope, Sheila, just takes one roll, actually less than a roll of each. <laughs> Wacky. <laughs> Might be just a little. Yes, welcome all you new guys. So if you have a question, make sure you ask. A lot of my peeps will answer you. Um, I try to catch as many of them as I can, but sometimes they go a little quickly and I may miss them. So if you don't get an answer, ask again. Thanks. 
say I love the way you pronounce <laughs> or don't pronounce it <laughs> so when I say float my boat that means share Facebook doesn't like for you to say like follow and share so I came up with float my boat so when I say float my boat that means I'm asking you to share my life all right we got one more on this row Hello, hello. So I'm going to come back. We're going to bring this one up because that's the way it's going. That's how OCD I am, y'all. And a lot of times you may, you may not even catch it because I do it without even thinking usually. Can't work in watching you have pulled me. Oh, awesome. That's why I do what I do. To do something to create, then it's made my day. Yeah, Tina's Tina's awesome. <laughs> I love y'all. Do you happen to have any wide full poly deco in yellow? No, I do not. Actually, I don't even have any yellow plain deco mesh. I have I have the jute, yellow jute, I have yellow fabric, and I think I have yellow poly. <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> I keep adjusting my, um, my zip tie gun a little bit. But I still keep getting those little Okay. All right, so we've done all of row two. So row three, I'm coming in with the cream and gold, which is this one. I did not heat seal this because I ran out of time. So it was just cut and go. Cut and go. Let's see, it's going to be especially important to make sure this one is consistent throughout your flower because the way that gold shoots right there in the middle, you don't want to have it every which way. It looks lacy. <laughs> I love using fabric mesh. So easy to use, absolutely. This wasn't, this isn't what I normally would use for my sunflowers. Um, for my angels, this is exactly what I use um, for my rose gold angels as the wings. Um, but it's, it's still going to be pretty. You can dye or paint the leftover pieces of the zip tie and put them into the round half. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. 
<laughs> because I'm gentle with my mesh. It's still fraying. You can see um, a few pieces here and there that are fraying, um, but just be gentle with it. <laughs> This is just regular deco mesh. It's rose gold, um, and this is a golden cream. This is the one I generally use, um, but I didn't have enough. But that's that's always my go-to. How I ran out, I have no idea. Hello. I do not heat seal my fabric mesh, no. What do I have my iPod hanging on? It is my iPad, not iPod, um, my bad. Um, it's, it's a, um, remind me at the end and I'll turn my camera so you can see it. It, it clamps to the table because I couldn't get my laptop to come up, it was updating. So it actually clamps to the table and it's an adjustable, bendable rod that um, you can change the thing out and it can hold your phone or put another one in it. It's big enough to hold your iPad. Thank you for floating my boat. <laughs> You'll be gentle. <laughs> Be gentle with it. Now this mesh right here is notorious for fraying, but easy does it. Just cut them off. I'm kind of crazy. I seal everything. Do you? I do. Well, I, I usually would for these. I usually would, but I just ran out of time. I didn't have time. I didn't. I didn't. These are all cut ten by ten. What? Is Facebook giving Dana a hard time? Thank you for floating my boat. Yes, I love my impulse sealer. Absolutely. Especially for the poly burlap. How many of y'all are counting with me every time I scrunch? <laughs> Yes, you can make a flower with one roll of mesh. Absolutely. Getting my shoe rag to hold my wrist. Oh. <laughs> oh, both of them? That's no good. And for those of y'all like on the website, if there is an overage, I do refund all overages. So don't be afraid. You are pretty consistent. Okay, so you're counting. <laughs> I think I missed one or two. I was I was seeing if y'all were paying attention. This is just regular deco mesh. The um and I don't have the paper um, it came in. This is just, if you pull up like Craft Outlet, um, pull up Rose Gold, and this will pop up. Um, I'm, I, I think this does as well in the Rose Gold section. 
<laughs> you forgot the blue. Um, so yeah, I do. Um, oh, I'm done. I do. Um, what was I saying? I do refund overages. One of a, a couple people messaged me and it was shipping was telling them it was going to be $60 to $80. I'm like, girl, just message me your order. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to come back in with the rose itself. the plain rose gold I'm running out of room here y'all see and you can just see that hint of gold coming through there love Hello, hello. That's my grow meal. Yeah, most, most, on most of the flowers you can do one roll. Um, now like the, um, the, uh, the rainbow wreath I did, you can get two rainbow sunflowers out of a roll of each of those meshes because you use like five different colors so and even doubling up on the, the yellow I believe I, I doubled up on um, you can get two flowers out of that so um, are you gonna be making any more um, are they out on the website already because they were on the website. You haven't tried a flower? Girl, make you a flower. Now the roses, I you know, the, we all have our thing and roses are not my thing. Now do I make them? I have made them. If somebody ordered one, I would make one. But it's just not at the top of my list to make. I really don't care to make them. Yes, I know, Diane. I'm so excited when I when I heard that. How do you make the base? Um, no, Gina. This is a Unique in the Creek flower board. So, um, it's a board made by Unique in the Creek. Um, it's 100% recycled yogurt containers. Um, so they already come with a cutout. They already come with the holes drilled in them. Um, so it's your base. So instead of like a wire frame, um, even though I do those too, I love to do flowers on the Unique in the Creek board. Um, hey girl, <laughs> you're intimidated by the rose. I'm not intimidated. I just don't enjoy making them. You have to enjoy what you're doing. It does look soft and pretty. And I love just that hint of gold under there. Message me, Stacy, and I'll, I'll get it added. And I'll just invoice you for the one center. Um, you can, Patty. It's just going to be a lot more difficult to do. Um, I, I, I did one, um, and then the boards came out, and I'll never do another sunflower on a wireframe. Yes, it can be done, though. Absolutely. Hi, hi. You, you, I think you have to use a, um, a lot more mesh to do it. It's just easier, so much easier on the boards now. It 
So if any of you are new and you want to try the boards and you missed my first part, um, you're welcome, Patty. Um, at the top of my page is a pinned post with my Unique in the Creek um, link. So you can click on that link, um, take it directly to Unique in the Creek, order whatever you need, um, and then when you get to the discount code, put CREATE, all capitals, C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, and you'll save 10% on your entire order. Um, and there are the new five packs. So you get one of each board, I believe, except for the horse, if I'm correct. You get a large flower board, a small flower board. You get the cross. Oh... Yes, Beth, that's what I was just saying. Um, hey, Patricia, um, what did I say? You get large, small, cross. Y'all, I can't even think. Large, small, cross. I don't know, you get five boards. <laughs> go, go look, it's on my page somewhere. <laughs> Oh, you get a tree board. Um, was that five? I don't think the horse board comes in there, Suzanne. You get the triangle board. See, I'm old school. I still call it a tree board. What is the change on the flower board? A lot of us add additional holes right here in the gaps. So they're talking about it's not finalized yet, or even if they're going to be able to do it, they're talking about adding two holes in this large gap. Character board, that's it, thank you. So that's five. Yeah, so large, small, character, cross, and triangle board in a starter pack. There you go. Y'all are old. Y'all, y'all better than me. <laughs> I know I looked at it, but I just kind of glanced and shared it for y'all. Let me shut my door. My husband just turned on the stereo. Facebook be shutting me down. No, I did not add, I do not add typical holes for my sunflowers. And um, the only one I did was the poinsettia I did the other night because I was doing the one petal. Um, so uh, that's generally the only time I'll add holes for a sunflower. Grandma's doing better. She, now she's just trying to get into the doctors to follow up. But she is getting better. Thank you. You're tired of adding holes. <laughs> See, I usually don't. I don't modify. Usually. I don't modify for the sunflowers. I modify the boards all the time. But My website is monkeyscreations.com. Hello. It's not showing your link. I was going to order. It should be pinned at the top, at the very top of my page. All right, so for the middle, I do, there's, you generally are going to do four, one, two, three, four, but I'm adding a total of eight. So I'm going in between all of the sets, and so we're doing eight more petals. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Have you guys gone in? No, I don't think um, Texas is going to shut down again. I don't think, but you never know. I think Harris County did make it mandatory for mask in Harris County, but I'm in Galveston County and they haven't made it mandatory yet. 
but I'm sure it's coming. Going green on Friday, yay! What colors? So row two is rose gold, row three is the cream and gold, row four rose gold, row five is a cream and gold. Yeah, I think um, they did make it mandatory for businesses. You have to wear a mask in a business. We're making a rose gold sunflower. I know, I know. I mean, I generally don't go anywhere anyway. Um, I go out to eat, out to lunch on Wednesdays with the girls, um, and I go to the grocery store. That's generally it. Um, I did go get my nails and feet done, but I wore a mask. You know, that's their rules. So, but I generally order everything from home. Oh, who's mad? Who hit the mad face? Y'all need a hug. With orange and brown would be really pretty. Phase three. Oh my God, I can't believe the rest of the country is not open yet. <laughs> it just, it kills me. I thought you had to go through her page for Michelle. You do have to go through my page. You have to use my link for me to get credit. Yeah, it's, it's on the rise here, too. We went back from four to three. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is not the ombre from Unique in the Creek, I should say. But I guess you could call it an ombre flower, but it's not the one sold by Unique in the Creek is what I mean. Did that make sense? <laughs> Phase four, woohoo! I think our phases went like a week apart. We went from <laughs> from four, three, two, open, like within three weeks. <laughs> Thanks. I read here in Florida we were running out of ICU beds. Really? Am I using eight inch wire ties? I am using six inch zip ties. But we've been back open, gosh. Six weeks already, maybe? These are cut at 10 inches. What number? I, I could not tell you. This was a leftover roll. And the last one I had, so I have no idea. It's back on curve. What? Really? I hadn't heard that. Is the curfew because of riots or something? I don't understand why there would be a curfew.
Could I use the straight mesh you see on my table? What straight mesh? From the sunflower the other day. From the um, candy corn sunflower. And we jumped from, from 50 to 75. Yeah. It's going to happen. The whole world has gone crazy, y'all. I, I, I don't watch I haven't I don't watch TV um, I haven't watched TV probably three or four years maybe um, so I, I, I don't I just don't care to watch all of the I don't even care to get on Facebook half the day on time anymore And not enough hospital beds. I don't know. That seems kind of silly to me. Like you're, you've got until 11 to get the COVID and then you go home and, <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. It just sounds crazy. Oh my goodness. You really watch it either? Yeah, I don't. So you can see, like I told you, the gold and cream is notorious for fading. Or, I'm sorry, for fraying. So I'm just going to go in and clean that up. You're not going to see it anyway. But that's just my my OCD there. Got to clean it up. So it's fraying real bad. But that's all right. <laughs> yeah. If my business wasn't based on a Facebook business, I would. Who y'all? I'd have already deleted it. Exactly. Being retired mother. Oh yeah. Exactly. I don't. I don't. I don't watch it. I can't stand it. Now when my husband's home and he's sitting outside and and watching it, you know, I'll hear every now and then when I go out there with the dogs or something. But I just I don't watch TV. Sorry, getting those big frays off there. All right, so there's where we're at. I know I love these colors too. All right, so your Senna's come with a pipe cleaner already attached. Um, there is a Just gonna pick two holes, to run it through. Snug it tight. I love to read, but I'm really, I only read when I'm in the pool, drinking a beer by myself. <laughs> Otherwise, there's too much to do. Too busy watching me and Lori. Too high speed chase. Oh, I think. Did I hear something about that? I think I was out there with the dogs, and I heard my husband was watching CNN or something. All right, so there we go, y'all. So what do you think? And then when it sells, I don't glue them in as I go. Once it sells, um, then I go back in and I add glue underneath, just as a double protectant. Um, and then I take the pipe cleaner and I'll cut it down and I'll run it right back through one of those holes 
That way that um, sharp piece doesn't scratch anybody's door. Not yet, Kathy. I haven't had a chance, girlfriend. Um, so it'll either be tonight or may, it'll probably be first thing in the morning, to be honest with you. But I'll get you, girl. I promise. Um, that way that piece doesn't scratch your customer's door. All right. What kind do you drink? Oh, I drink Bud Light. I'm a Bud Light girl. <laughs> And I love being the only one here outside reading a book, drinking my beer by myself. Love it. Nobody to bother me. Nobody to say mom. Nobody saying babe. Grandma. <laughs> so it doesn't happen very often, that's for sure. All right, so there is your rose gold sunflower. You're a Bud Light girl too? You're a whiskey girl. I used to drink whiskey. When I was in the Air Force, um, uh, I went to Desert Storm and we were in England for Desert Storm and we got, y'all, it was Jack and Coke or Rum and Coke. Those were my drinks of choice then. And yeah, it didn't go very well. So I haven't had a, a whiskey in that long. That's been that's been over 20 years. So yeah, me and whiskey don't like each other. <laughs> and here is the peacock one. So both of these sunas are on the website. Um, there's sky blue, which is gorgeous. Um, there's silver, there's red. There's orange, black, and purple, all Halloween colors. Um, oh, y'all want to see the poinsettia with those centers? And then you'll know what I'm talking about when I say, um, you're an Army veteran. Well, thank you for serving. Thank you for your service. Except the snakes. I check for snakes. Let me grab that poinsettia, and I'll show you what I mean by the poinsettia balls. So these are the frosted ones. This is the poinsettia that I did live the other day. Um, I just went back and added more petals because I wasn't happy with it. Um, so these are what I'm calling the poinsettias. So Kim from Magical Creations is making these for y'all. I have passed that buck over to her. Um, so you'll get six balls per set because you need six to finish your poinsettia in the middle. You have the purple too? Awesome! Yes, my room filled up really quick. <laughs> so this is the sky blue and this is the rose gold in the poinsettia. Um, so I was going to, um, and I could have used the rose gold, the smaller ones as well. You would just line them up um, do the six, do the five, and then the one in the very middle, just like this one. Okay, so these are what um, Kim is making for y'all. I have passed the buck over to Kim um, for Magical Creations is her business page. Um, so y'all can head over there to get your poinsettia centers. It was just too much, y'all. So, did you just do one coat? Yes. Yep. So um, I painted the, the base red um, and then the Epsom salt and the glitter. Um, so the, you let the paint and I went, there's a whole live on YouTube um, of how I did all the centers. So you can go over and check that out. But uh, just a quick paint your center, let it dry, Mod Podge, glitter, Epsom salt, glitter, whatever you want to do and then seal it. Okay. Make sure that you seal it with the gloss 
Sila, not don't do don't use the matte because it's going to dull your glitter. Okay, um, but um, yeah, magical creations. Um, you, <laughs> I'm sure y'all did. Yes, it's just the small two inch balls. So magical creations has got you covered on those. Um, Taylor has you covered on the large ones. Um, so they're on the website. Um, any other questions? I did the Dollar Tree ornaments today and I will seal tomorrow. Awesome. Any other questions? I got too much on my table, y'all. And y'all thought an eight foot table was too big. Y'all, it's covered. It ain't too big. <laughs> hey, Gary. Uh, what's the name of the Sila? Um, it is, I use the Rust-Oleum, I believe, and I don't have a can in here. It's all outside. Um, Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. Um, it's a non-UV, non-yellowing um, Sila. So uh, it's Rust-Oleum. Yes, it's Magical Creations. Oh, she yelling at me, y'all. Don't be yelling. <laughs> Go have a beer. I don't have time for a beer. I missed. Yes, I just glued the balls individually um, with hot glue and E6000. Janice, message me because I'll never remember, girlfriend. Yeah, just message me and I can add two. Okay, Stacy. Um, the mesh is blue and it's an ombre blue and green in the peacock. And I am going to be putting a kit together for that one as well because I just love it. So I'll probably, so the, the candy corn kit should be available tomorrow. Um, I'll do a peacock kit and I'll do a rose gold kit because those are my favorite colors, y'all. Did you have lunch today? No, uh-uh. I didn't. I was too busy. I was too busy. Do you have the red, white, and blue Santa glitter or the chunky yarn? I think I have a, I think I have a chunky yard red, white, and blue. Message me. What's next? Who knows? <laughs> Doris, I really don't don't like the character boards. It's just my preference. I don't mod podge. I hate mod podging except for the balls. I'll help Taylor with those. Um, but I'm not a mod podge girl. I hate mod podge, and I hate the character boards. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't hate them. I just don't use them. I don't mod podge. I don't like that whole thing. The only one that I do is I do the clown kit. Um, so those will probably be available next month, maybe a month and a half down the road. Um, so that's the only, um, and I just pray to the Mod Podge gods to help me Mod Podge just one thing a year. And that's it. The clown. <laughs> Are they already sold out? I will, Maria. I know. <laughs> they have vinyl, I know. I'm just not a character board person. All right. It does stink. It does. And then you, when you see them, because I use the spray sealer, I've just been like all kinds of messed up for four days now, y'all. Seriously. <laughs> I haven't done a dragonfly. Oh no, everything is sold out. Oh no. Y'all, we had over over a hundred sunnas. So and you miss them? Oh no. Have you ever shown how to put holes in your boards? I did. Um if you go on my YouTube channel um under tips and tricks in one of those videos. I show you how to um, 
what I used to put a hole in the boards. Um, but that was before I had the, um, that's what I use when I do the mass butterfly boards um, because it's quick. Um, now, because I only had a few holes here and there, because I'm no longer making the butterfly boards, they are done for the season, they're done for the year. Um, I use a wood burner, and the wood burner will go, if I can grab it here, the wood burner, once it's hot enough, will go right through that plastic, and it gives you a perfect hole. So if you have a wood burner, you can use that as well. <clears throat> then they're probably sold out. So we'll, we'll try. She's home for the week. Um, but I'll have to. There were over a hundred Senna's on there, y'all. Um, so I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll get some more orders. I didn't expect them to go that quickly. <laughs> Never have money when live sales come up, or you have the new sun as a little next time you say, Oh no! Oh no! So, um, yeah, I'll be having another live sale. What is today? Wednesday? Who probably Friday. Yes, my table. Well, I've got like four wreaths on my table. That's and that's really the, the main. I've got some ribbon over there, and yeah, it's not, that eight foot table is not too big, y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I'm out of here. I still have some stuff I need to do tonight, um, so I will try and uh, check in with y'all tomorrow, see what we can do. Um <laughs> Okay. All right. So I'm out of here. Y'all have a great night and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.